The exosuit works like a spacesuit for deep sea divers, enabling them to reach depths of a thousand feet at surface pressure. The suit will allow scientists to study bioluminescent fish deep off the coast of southern New England. Proteins harvested from these fish will help scientists map the human brain and could aid in early detection of cancer. The idea of this mission was to go down. We've all been down with ROVs and submarines into this space, but you see the animals kind of swim by in bright lights, and you never really get a chance to interact with the animals. So the idea was once I was told that we had access to the suit, I said, can we go down into this water? Um, and with the suit there, can we help sort of encourage these animals in front of a camera that we built? My goal as a neuroscientist down the road is to take some of these animals and try to extract um, DNA from them down the road and purify the biochemical systems in those animals that produce light. And we use these systems in the laboratory to uh, study nerve cell activity. We just need one specimen now to, to be able to get that DNA code, get the sequence for it, and once we have that, we actually never have to go back to that animal again. And we could engineer that protein, make it work as a tool, we could use it in cancer research, AIDS research, neuroscience research, and what it does is it allows you to illuminate the inner processes inside of cells. And what's it like to be in the exosuit? It's uh, pretty scary. <laughs> It's a claustrophobic environment, uh, you know, it's a solid aluminum cage that you're in and uh, um, it's very confining, you're unable to really move at all, you're in there, you're in there. Um, you can't even really, you've got to remove your arms and put them back in those holes and that, that's bruising to do that because there's just not enough room in there. But once you're in and you're moving, it's, it's fantastic. You see your hands out in front of you in the water and, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's like nothing else, I have to say. Reporting from Woods Hole, this is Eco RI News.